or Burger Nacho? It's like this or on the curb, on this side of the curb. Okay, okay, okay. You know, just... Okay, so I can go on the main street and I come on to this street. No, you see, it's across the street right yeah, there. Yeah, I know, I know, just I know. Just walk straight up there. Yeah, yeah. And then so just stay on... I can go right on the main street or stay on this side, stay on the street. So you can... By the bus stop. Stay on this side, okay. don't cross the street. Why, why is the wind blind? The wind is blind. I, you know, the wind is actually blind. Because, um... Because the, bree the wind is a breeze, the breeze is a zephyr, zephyr is a, zephyr is a yarn, yarn is a tail. I can't get over it, I can't get over it, I can't get over it. I can't get over it, I can't get over it, I can't get over it, you know what I mean? The character of Julian was based on my uncle, who's schizophrenic. I'd always wanted to make a film about him. I wanted to make a film about someone that was mentally ill, but I really I wanted to do it justice, because usually when you see these characters portrayed in movies, it's always like the cute, lovable, eccentric, the you know, the cute, schizophrenic, um, and I think that's it's it's really crap. It's and I hate that. You know, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show a guy with blood in his underwear hitting himself in the head, jumping out of windows. I wanted to show what it was really like and um, the horror of schizophrenia. Hey, can't you stop? Stay, stop! Can't you? Faster! Midnight chaos, eternity chaos. Morning chaos, eternity chaos, noon chaos, eternity chaos, evening chaos, eternity chaos, midnight chaos, eternity chaos, morning chaos, eternity chaos, noon chaos. We fought! You know what we You know what we At first I wanted to cast my uncle, but we couldn't get him out of the mental institute. So we would visit my uncle and uh, tape my uncle, and Ewan would be listening to headphones, getting my uncle's speech and his cadences. He really had to be there, or else it just the whole movie would collapse if it was some kind of uh, romantic uh, idea of, of schizophrenia. One of the most important things in the preparation stages for the film was spending some time with a man that the character is based on. I mean, that was really valuable because this person is alive and he's an amazing person. I had to meet the man to you know, kind of understand what Harmony was talking about because it's just all so fantastical. I think the character of Julian, like Uncle Eddie, um, is a very loving person. Someone who's, got, who's only got love in his heart, has got no bad feeling for anything or anyone. It's not necessarily got control or the restraint you or I possess, but he's a man who's full of love. His relationship with his sister is, is one of very pure love. Harmony and I wanted Pearl to be just a really sweet girl who really loves life and loves her family and, you know, just wants to have babies and, you know, look after them. And she's the mother figure of the family since their mother passed on when they were young. I think maybe it's the kind of girl Harmony wants me to be. I don't know. <laughs> Back in the 50s, they had this world championship of talking birds. And they assembled all these parrots. And Beos, it's a starlit type of bird from Borneo, and boy, do they speak well. But the championship back then was won by a parakeet, a little parakeet, and the parakeet would say, birds are smart, but they cannot speak. Werner Herzog's films were a really big influence on me. For me, he's kind of the last of the great, like, 70s, not just German new wave filmmakers, but just great filmmakers. I had written a part with him in mind, thinking about him, in his work more than anyone's, I always kind of identified uh, with the filmmaking style and also the characters and, and his approach to storytelling. Come on, be a man. It might even seep through your skin and you'll put on some weight. Oh, I've got no sugar, baby, now. All I can do for see peace with you and I can't get along. Yeah. 